What are you doing? Meow. We won't do it now, the camera's recording, will you? No, you won't. No. So guys, um, we've just had our food delivery for the month, so we thought we would vlog and show you a bit about um, <coughs> Phil howling. No, a bit about what we feel the feed the Malamutes in a month um, on a day-to-day -day basis, and also when we are <coughs> when we are on our extreme diet, what we end up feeding them. <coughs> and he consents that I moved a food bowl, so somebody's a little bit excited. Oh my goodness, are you excited, Phil? Yeah. Okay, you have to wait a couple of minutes. Just a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good boy. I'll be back. Okay. So, um, we get applause pet food. Um, I think we've mentioned that in previous videos. Um, and this would be on average just over a month's worth of food um, so we've got dry food we've popped it up here so this is a 15 kilogram bag of chicken we'll go through two of those a month for the dogs and um, both the same the big important thing for us is that it's grain free so pretty much everything that is in this bag is natural it's 75 percent chicken 25 percent uh, vegetables and natural extracts really big on getting grain free food and we probably only learnt that I would say when Phil was about two or three years old, before then we used to feed other brands, the high street brands like uh, Pedigree, I mean we even at one point fed Bakers and if you Google the research into that, we were so uneducated. Um, but yeah, we only ever feed applause now, we have done for the last year or so. Um, and then for Milo, he used to be on the kitten food, we're just running out um, that food, he doesn't eat as much of it anymore but we've just got a bag left over. And now he's on the adult cap because he's over 18 months old. Um, and then we've got the wet food. So this is the dog sized tins, and it's surprising how much you get in that. Um, I'll open one up in a sec so that you can see it. And also, Milo, his favourite is tuna, like clear favourite is tuna. Um, and then, food bowl wise, we've got two different bowls. So, Phil is a really fast eater, so we've got this um, slow eating bowl which he's even, even nibbled around the side of it. Um, so that's what we feed Phil in because um, fast eating can lead to bloating and we've had a few scares in the past. And then Nico's just got a normal food bowl. Um, and then Milo just gets whatever. He always has a food, full food bowl. Um, he doesn't really overeat, cats don't do it. So we've always just got dry food down for him. And then, yeah, food wise, measurements wise, we do half a cup. So literally just a cup like that. We do half a cup of dry food twice a day. I'll just pull that in and mix it around and fill. And that's what they'll be fed twice a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. In the morning that we'll mix it with a tin of applause pet food and in the evening we'll mix it with some green beans and that's part of the diet that they're on at the moment. So we're filling up some of the food that we, they would usually, and some of the calories they would usually get from the dry food with just green beans, which helps flush it out. Um, and I'll go on to talk about the diet a little bit later in the video, some progress that we've had. We're actually on pause at the moment, um, just because we've done it for three months on it. So they are just on normal uh, amounts. But yeah, I'll talk you through what we do when we are dieting as well, because we will be going back on that in October. So I'll just... Um, open up this tin and show you what's inside it. Me, my face at you. Um, so for Phil and Nico they're getting chicken with veg today and you can see the chicken and the vegetables in it so I'm just going to pour that in. Half and half and it does actually go a relatively long way. That's Phil and Nico and then Milo is getting some tuna today. I'll just leave that one on top and he'll just pick at it and leave the dry food usually. So um, I've just put the camera down, I've just added some green beans into there just to fill it up a bit, low calorie and they love their green beans um, and that will be their, this will be their traditionally morning meal but they're getting it in the evening now just because this is the time that I'm filming so they're getting double the amount of wet food today. 
and then I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about their diet so this was our progress chart so you'll see that back at the start of this year Phil started at 126 pounds and as of July we'd got him down to 107 pounds so he'd lost well over a stone almost two stone um, and that will we then decided to put it on pause just with the advice of our vet it was quite a um, intense diet that it was on it was supplementing more of the dry food for green beans so yes we saw a real good progress um, on the weight loss but it's not something that you can really sustain I think it'd be the equivalent of us going on like a shake diet so we've taken a break over the summer it was a particularly hot summer in the UK so they didn't get walked some days when it was really hot um, but they obviously will be up in their exercise regime come now it's getting into winter um, and we will start the diet or kickstart the diet again in October and we'll share some more progress then but we do think that Phil's probably got about £14 still to go we want to get him down to around the £90 mark um, and Nico I'd probably say she just needs to get down to about £70 but we don't really you can't really tell you just keep looking and seeing how their body shape is taking effect so we've still got a way to go but we have made some really good progress this year um, so yes, that's our diet, and let's go feed the wolves. Mm. Who wants some din-dins? <coughs> Does Phil want din-dins? Do you want din-dins? <coughs> are you excited? <coughs> oh, you are? Oh, just give me the food, woman. That's all he cares about. All right, baby. Look at you being all good. Aren't you an angel? Okay, you ready? You'll be good. You'll be good for me. This one's Nico's, not yours. <laughs> oh, I see what you want. Oh, oh, no. That's not happening. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. We'll try again. Right, you go sit down. Sit down. That's not going to happen, is it? Here you go, Nico. There you go. Good girl. And Philly Bear. Are you ready? Come on then. Here you go. Let's watch how quickly he demolishes this. Need to find a faster, slow serve food bowl. Oh, Milo wants his dindins. Milo, do you want yours? I'll go get it. You don't really get fed outside, do you? No, you don't. You're getting yourself locked under. Hold on. I'll go get yours. And we'll come back to Phil. How could I forget Milo? Are you excited, baby? Are you excited? So guys thank you so much for watching um, we'll just end it here just a quick note to say that um, we'll link all of the item the key items shown so where you can get the food from um, and also the slow food dog bowl that we got for Phil in case you are interested and there's no better feeling than a fully stocked food cupboard is that I see you've got your eye on everything yeah guys thank you so much for watching leave a comment below of any questions that you may have be sure to check out some of our other weight loss videos where we've tracked our journey and our weigh-in days so that you can see a bit more information about that and um, we do go to talk about the food that we're feeding them in those videos um, i'll add a link here to take you to the latest one um, and yeah we'll see you in our next video bye guys